Well, good Monday morning to me. Just unclog the drain. Yep. Came in here and the sump pump that wasn't working on Sunday morning at 6.30 in the morning was overflowing the drain right here with the toilet paper backed up. I got the sump pump working. By clunking on the ground, it's a rigid with the water sensor. Only a year old or less, probably a few months old. And it was running incessantly now because the drain here was backed up. Someone put paper towels down the drain. So I was going to get my pressure washer sewer jetter, but instead I decided to run this metal, flat metal snake down because all of this is paper towel because the drain is depressed because of heavy road traffic. So anyhow, that's a swell way to start a Monday morning. First Sunday morning I got a phone call at 6 o'clock in the morning, no heat. So the breaker was tripped in the tenant's apartment and this sump pump was seized and it tripped the breaker as well. Just a total coincidence. So I tapped it on the ground, got it running. I come here to check on it on Monday morning and I find the drain overflowing into the pit here that I never filled back in. It's running incessantly. Oh, joy. Anyhow, I'm going to run this flat tape into the drain a bit more and clear out the blockage of paper towels or feminine hygiene products. Oh, God. Landlord. I love being a landlord. Junk. Well, thanks for Oh, yeah. Well, half an hour later, I've been pulling up the flat cable and cleaning the uh, mucky pucky off and the rust. And I got to the end, and it's stuck in there. i got to wing it to get it out. I see the cloth on the end of my strap, my flat strap, and I see the toilet paper. Cool, huh? What a noisy sump pump. What a racket. Someone's got to clean the sewer. i got a buddy of mine who works for an apartment complex that has sewer trash shredders and pumps, and they're always breaking, and one day I'll go visit him and see what it looks like to jump in the sewer pit with a sump. Choppers. Sump sewer pumper choppers. Here's my Wayne sump pump. My broken seal right there. I bought Simmer pump pumps. S-I-M-E-R. Simmer. We'll see how those work. They have a remote switch, not in the body of the pump. Yeah. Maybe I'll put this on a tripod. Hang on. Anybody call pants trousers? I had my trousers fixed. One of my tenants is a seamstress, and she patched them with old curtains. So, got my tripod. You can watch me pull out the toilet paper in case you're so inclined. I wonder how many hits a video gets. It just shows sewage.
buried inside the pipe. Well, it's hard to back this low basement. And my sewer snake that I rented, cable, got stuck in the pipe like 60 feet in, which is how far I just went with this thing. I was past the lawn, past the sidewalk. Anyways, what am I going to do with this rented cable inside the pipe? The rental company is charging by the hour. They want their machine back. So I called up a guy that does minor sewer repairs and snaking and water lines. He won't do it on a busy street or a retired city guy. Works for the sewer department. But he won't do a big job, he says. Well, you got two choices, buddy. You got me. You got two choices. You can call a contractor and flag the street because it's a main state road. Yeah, Jenny alcohol. You can flag the road and dig a huge trench 10 feet deep all the way across the road because the sewers are very deep on this road. And pay, pay, pay. Put a new sewer line in while the road's flagged and do it in two stages. Huge job. Or, he said, you can make a little contraption and put a come along in the basement. I'll show you the contraption in a second. I still have it, of course. It's still sitting. You can pull the cable out of the drain using a come along. So I said, well, that sounds a little simpler. I'm just going to take off these outer gloves are full of caca and toss them. So, with my fresh gloves. So, I said, well, I really don't feel like paying 10000 I just clunked my head here again. Clunk. I don't feel like paying $10,000 to dig up the street and put a new water line in. Sewer line, rather. So I made this contraption out of a guy wire end from a utility. I made this little contraption to go around the spring end. Welded two pieces together, cut a notch for the cable. And I put it around the cable that was sticking out of the drain here. And I tied it to my come along. And I wrapped my come along around this log here holding up the building. And that started to move, so I wrapped it around both of them. And then I positioned, before I had all this junk here, this is a long time ago, I positioned a mattress over here, two mattresses. And I cranked on the come along. This is way before YouTube. YouTube guys would probably sparkles in their parents' eyes. I cranked on it and I pulled that cable. It's actually a spring, giant spring without a cable inside. I pulled the spring snake from there. I stretched that thing. I locked it onto here with something or other, I forget. I took pictures of it. I've got photos. Then I came back here. And I attached to these two, holding up the building, logs. And I pulled that spring all the way from there. I stretched it all the way to here. And just about when I figured it was going to break or do something, it friggin' let go. Whatever it was snagged on, it unsnagged way, way 60 feet out, 20 meters out in the road. It friggin' let go, and it hit those mattresses so hard, but they absorbed all the shock. And that was it. So all I have left of the story is my memories, a few photos that are buried in my basement, and this special tool that I concocted. I'll leave the tool there, and I'll plug the sump pump in, and I'll head off to see what Fruit Loops is doing. Where's my extension cord? I don't know if Fruit Loops is working today. There she blows. It would be better if this was inside here. Put a brick over top of it. That's it. My some pump problems. That's such a pain. How's my drain doing? Things flowing downhill? Yep. That's it. All there is to report. Off to work I go. Oh boy, I'm out of breath from this crappy job. There goes the sump pump again. A beautiful thing. Free flowing drain. Thank goodness for that. Got 
junk. 